Many of our brothers and sisters on Twitter want to know what is the position of the Nation of Islam when it comes to the solution for black Americans. Well, I want you to hear directly from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Check it out. So here's what we got to do. We got aldermen, we got preachers, and we got business leaders. But when you are a colony, your preachers for the most part are controlled from downtown. Not all of them. But since most preachers like to be favorite sons of whoever the mayor is, if the mayor gives them a token, then they do the token business of the mayor. The politicians, we send them there to work for us, but we turn our backs on them. We do not support them so they get corralled by smart crooked deceivers and they sell out their power to those who can give them a little more money than what they get as a so-called salary I, I was in Benton Harbor with my brother mayor um, brother Marcus Muhammad he's the mayor now check this out He's the mayor of a city, but he's not allowed to get money from city revenue. Mm -hmm. They get a little stipend, and a man is a mayor and has to support a family on a stipend by going to meetings and you get maybe $35 or $50 a meeting or whatever the cost is. And this is in black and white written. So no wonder the mayors can be so easily corrupted. No wonder the city councilmen can be so easily corrupted because they are not paid a living wage in some of these cities wow. we've got to free our people up and the only way we can do that is the unity of us in the street putting pressure on our preachers putting pressure on our business people putting pressure on our politicians either you work for us or we have to sit you down you can't put your hand in our hand and then other hand and feet in the pocket of your enemy so this is our job now don't tell me we don't have money that's crap excuse my expression crap now look at this bull crap at that thank you sir 1.1 trillion dollars comes through black hands that's right this year so don't say we don't have money we don't have unity right. and if we had unity and pooled our money then we could begin to take control of where we live if we don't have money why are the Arabs here if we don't have money why are the Koreans here if we don't have money why is every immigrant that comes to America find their way into into the black community to build their empire, their American dream on the black nightmare. So we have got to change that reality. Now, as you can see, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said we have to change that reality. If we are allowing immigrants to come in and they are building their world, they got little Chinatown. Korean town, all these different towns because they are united together. Are we united in some cases? Yes. But are we as united as we could be? No. Are we pulling our resources in some cases? Yes. Are we doing it more and more and more? Yes. But are we doing it the way that we could be? No. So we have to start to look at, yes, we want reparations. Yes, we deserve reparations. Point number four, and I found a call newspaper say that they should take care of our needs and supply our needs for the next 20 to 25 years. Fertile land. But until we have to separate, strive for separation, and do something for ourselves, pool our resources, 
Yes, we want that to be our solution. Reparations. Yes, we want them to give us the justice. Absolutely. But what can we do in the meantime? And the minister is teaching us what we can do. We can unite. It's not always our lack of money as a whole. It's our lack of unity. What's your thoughts on that family? Comment below.